much. They treat me um, as if I'm some kind of crazy person, uh, or like I have three horns coming out of my head. But what they don't understand is they're the ones that are crazy and they're the ones that are so disconnected. Well, well, that's the gaslighting that, that they're engaged in. I mean, if you look at it, the trends worldwide are to populism and the people, not even about conservative or liberal. And, and deep down, they know that they're trying to gaslight us. At least the controllers at the top are. But I think the average leftist, I agree with you, actually does think you've got five heads or I've got six heads and that they actually believe their own BS. Man, that straw man with that BS is serious. I mean, because Alex Jones has five hits. All you need is that one and it's still empty. Anyways, there's Marjorie Taylor Greene. She jumps on with Alex Jones to talk about how everyone treats her like she's crazy. So let's talk to Alex Jones about crazy. Um, so by the way, she can't figure it out. Maybe it's the fights that she gets into with everyone as she can in Congress. Maybe it's the way she got kicked off of all of her committees because she keeps spouting violent and ridiculous rhetoric. I don't know, I can't figure out what it is. Or maybe it's this, let's watch. This is a simple meme that you would find on the internet, but this meme is very real. The Green New Deal surprise is serves China and China only. You can go ahead and put number one up. So today talking about the Green New Deal and the all out war on the men and women. Nailed it, Scooby Doo. Um, now, if it wasn't that, maybe it's something a little bit more serious about how crazy she is. Maybe it's this, watch. Rational Jewish person didn't like what happened in, in Nazi Germany, and any rational Jewish person doesn't like what's happening with overbearing mass mandates and overbearing vaccine policies. You know, we can look back in a time in history where people were told to wear a gold star, and they were definitely treated like second class citizens, so much so that they were put in trains and taken to gas chambers in Nazi Germany, and this is exactly the type of abuse that Nancy Pelosi is talking about. It's exactly the kind of abuse that she's talking about, gas chambers, because that's what's happening. Or maybe she got even more serious when she decided to chase down David Hogg, who was a victim <laughs> of, uh, of seeing his friends get killed by a mass shooting at his school. And she decided to chase him down and ask him why he's in favor of gun control measures. Watch. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school or at least protected them. Why are you supporting red flag gun laws that attack our second amendment rights? And why are you using kids to get to, as a barrier? Do you not know how to defend your stance? Look, I'm an American citizen, I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit. I carry a gun with for, for protection for myself and you are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my second amendment rights. You don't have anything to say for yourself? You can't defend your stance? How did you get over 30 appointments with senators? How'd you do that? How did you get major press coverage on this issue? And how did you get kids? Why do you use kids? Why kids? She can't figure it out, David. She doesn't know why everyone thinks that she's crazy. <clears throat> well, a couple of things. First, um, to her point about crazy, I don't think that I'm uh, certified in terms of the mental health field to be able to make a clinical determination if she is in fact, I don't know, crazy, a lunatic, narcissistic, psychopathic, um, insane. But I do think the evidence is very clear that she is uninformed, she is illiterate, she is stupid, she is, I don't know, gazpacho, whatever that thing was. <laughs> and she's not exactly a member of the Genius Club Mensa. So maybe she's just confused about what it is that the left is calling her, but she is certainly an idiot. I'm curious as whether or not she was trying to get some kind of sympathy. She's like, I just can't figure out why people treat me like this. <laughs> well, think about how you treat others. Now, this is the thing, whenever a-holes start running around and, and talking about how everyone's treating them, and they expect everyone to forget how they've treated Others. So when someone comes at you with some negativity because your entire existence, your entire popularity is based off of how bad of a person you are and you embrace it. That whole chase down of David Hogg, there wasn't, so, in case people don't realize this, cameras don't float around people's heads and just follow them. That was set up with someone to film her doing that the entire time because that was supposed to be something to get attention for. It wasn't because she actually wanted answers to those questions. She needed a new boogeyman and enter David Hogg victim of his school being shot up, because that's a great person to target. 